it is a time, quite frankly, where there has to be, at least in my opinion, a new assessment of the global system with respect to security. I think that it is reasonable to argue that the existing paradigms that do exist are increasingly becoming less and less relevant. We saw, for instance, um, after September 11th, the reemergence of unilateralism, particularly in relation to how the engagement with the United Nations took place and the aftermath as, as far as the campaigns in Iraq were cons uh, was concerned and to a lesser extent in Afghanistan. And while there may have been arguments um, proffered that had a fairly credible basis as we, we can look at them both at that time and now in hindsight, the fact is that they did serve to bring into question the future of a multilateral approach towards security. I am also arguing that with this new change, there has to be a consideration of the whole reality of non-state actors in an extremely different and more, if you will, inquisitive context. It has to be very seriously examined and looked at. And not just on the question of terrorism, which is where this debate has essentially resided, but the whole range of other players, non-state actors that are consequential within the international system. We're looking in this respect, and very appropriately, obviously, at international capital civil society, non-governmental organizations, and the media, the role of these entities really in shaping this new discourse. And even at a time when we are having more discussions on the matter of transnational threats, again, fully focused on issues within the, the terrorism domain, I cannot say that there has been any commensurate alignment certainly between the North and the South in terms of advancing this conversation. My other point is that there has to be a higher regard for the whole issue of multidimensional security. Looking at security in this global context and the range of key economic areas, key environmental questions that all feed into this um, very, very fundamental, important um, issue. And just to tease this out a little bit, the whole issue of climate change, which is not something that five, six years ago, um, as <clears throat> many of our states, even the Caribbean, <clears throat> excuse me, saw this as being largely inconsequential. This is at the, the very center of, of our reality right now and has application and relevance to a range of countries notwithstanding size or development. We saw, for instance, just again to tease out the whole public security dimension of this, what happened in the city of New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina, the kind of dissolution of civil order that took place in, in that city. City, of course, in the most developed country in the world. The implications of that and we know that for the most part, that catastrophe was largely occasioned by um, Hurricane Katrina. We look, for instance, at Haiti and what has been happening to its development um, priorities. Last year, four hurricanes hit that island, and of course, the downstream impact that has resulted from that. We remember Grenada um, with Hurricane Ivan, if my memory serves me correctly. 2004, where for two or three days, there effectively was not a government in place in that country. These are matters that are influenced by a range of non-traditional security realities which have to be addressed. 
and of course the whole relevance and place of regulatory slash legislative constructs that really assist the governance process within the global security domain. Looking back again at the UN, in my area, for instance, United Nations Security Council Resolution 1540, preventing the trafficking and spread of weapons of mass destruction. So we have a broad menu, and I think that we have an able panel to examine these issues. And one of the things I'm going to do is to certainly invite our audience to be very, very involved. I, for one, am not a person wedded to having the discourse fully directed from the platform. I think that we all here need to share. We need to put our perspectives in the mix and really add to what I believe and I intend to see as a robust discussion on this panel. Thank you, and with this, I'm going to invite Professor Diorsoran to address us. Thank you.